surprise! Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. If you guys are new here, welcome, welcome. And for all of my followers, subscribers who have been watching me for a couple years or even just recently found me and just binged all my readings. Hi guys, I am back. I'm not fully back, but I just wanted to do a surprise reading for you guys, especially for a couple of my popular reads. I recorded them, but I did not post them because during my pregnancy, um, I could not sit in this chair. I was in a lot of pain. So I'm going to start uploading all of those and uh, hope you guys enjoy those. But right now I have a big announcement is that I had my baby. He came a little bit early by a couple of weeks, but he is great. He is healthy and he is everything to me. And my heart is full. My husband and I are, you know, we're in the trenches, but we're doing well. But once I'm getting used to this pattern of uh, no sleep, <laughs> I will try my best to record and upload again. I don't know when. Uh, it's currently May right now. And it's about to be June. I don't know how consistent I can be with a newborn. So please be patient. I will try to do a surprise upload here and there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. For everyone new out there, I do read this as a storytelling voice. I do try to act out the characters and I know who's speaking. If that's up your alley, welcome. If it's not, I'm sorry, but definitely check out other content creators who do Webtoon uh, reaction slash readings. Let's get started. All right. There was a rumor that Empress Navier was infertile, but I guess that was false. Emperor Henry had a reputation of being a womanizer, but it's known that he's very good to Empress Navier. Don't forget how your majesty got to where you are. Our son is the first child of the Eastern Empire's Empress. There's no need to hide who you are anymore, is there? One person is trying to mess up my already shaky situation, while the other left and started a happy family. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't even see my baby! <laughs> Empress Rashta? Was she hiding in a closet? Duke Ergi? Is something wrong? <laughs> How would you feel if someone you were on bad terms was living a happy life? Uh, huh. Um, if someone like that was happy, I wouldn't like it. It would be unpleasant. <laughs> I feel the same way. This person left me with her misfortune while she alone found happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this about? Are you going somewhere? Oh, I'm planning to travel to the Western Empire for a bit. To see Henry. <gasps> You're just going to leave me? My friend's expecting his first child. I have to go congratulate him. You're not going? These days, nobody treats me like an empress, even if in my own empire. Wouldn't it be worse abroad? Of course not. You'd be shown more respect in foreign countries than you'll be shown here. You're just good manners between countries. Uh, really? I don't want to see that woman show off how happy she is. But I do want to see Emperor Henry. I ignored him because I was head over heels in love with the Emperor back then. But Henry was originally interested in me, not that woman. It'll be worth it to find out what he thinks of me. What? Is she trying to go over there and wreck? Oh my gosh, she's trying to be a homewrecker again. This time to Henry. Like, she already wrecked... Navier's first marriage, now she's gonna come and wreck the second one? Like, this woman, it's vile. Vile. Ugh. Like, what makes you think he is actually interested? Oh, whatever. Let's, let's continue. 
Now that I've thought about it, there are more reasons why I should go than why I shouldn't. I should ask His Majesty. You do seem depressed. So I think a trip abroad would be a good idea. Really? I can go? <gasps> That's right. Study Navier and learn how to act like an empress while you're there. Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's odd that he's letting me go without any resistance. But it's better than him saying no. Stop. St <laughs> What's up with that face? It's very glum. You wanted to see me, your majesty. As soon as the empress leaves the west palace, round up all of her maids. Oh, is she about to get evicted? The Remarried Empress, episode 170. Duke Zemencia's estate in the Western Empire. <laughs> oh, it's a little kid's playing. That is one long-haired looking dog. Come here for a second. You two. Uh? Your aunt sacrificed herself for the family and your futures. That's why you should study hard and achieve greatness. So you can protect your, our family and avenge your aunt. All right? Mm. What? Why do you look so sulky? My friends tell me Aunt Krista was a liar. They said she was forced to leave the city because she became obsessed with the emperor and tried to insult the empress. How is that supposed to be a sacrifice for our sake? What? You believe those lies? Oh. Uh, besides, why should we care? Aunt Krista was father's sister, not mine. Exactly. <sighs> you... You little brat! Did he just smack the kid? Oh! Why did you hit him? Were you some kind of r ruffian? It's not like we told her to die. You, you wicked. Oh, he smacked the kid's leg. That is one mean grandpa. Oh my goodness, y your grace. How can you hit them when what they're saying isn't wrong? Our reputation is tattered because of Lady Krista. Oh, the poor babies. Duchess, I can't say her name. Duchess Nerhia? Nerhia? Zemencia, Duke Zemencia's daughter-in-law. Nuria. Nuria. I'm going to say Nuria. There's going to be a banquet to celebrate the first addition to the Imperial family. Wait. Wait. Oh. There's going to be a banquet to celebrate the first addition to the Imperial family, but my husband didn't even get an invitation. People laugh at us. This is all, this is all Lady Chris's fault. Uh, you ungrateful huh? you were able to hold your head up high because of my daughter yet you look down on her now that she's dead it's only natural to dislike someone when they no longer provide any value to one's life this family is very self-serving. Like, they only do stuff or act nice, go hee-hee, kiki, only when stuff benefits them. This is one. Y'all need to be careful of people like that in real life. People who are just there for profit for themselves. This happens a lot. Let's go, kids. Uh, that, that little... How... Could she? How could I do that to my daughter to save those brats? Y your Grace, I could have protected my daughter. I hadn't compromised with the wretched Emperor for the sake of the children. My family might have gone to ruin, but I could have saved her. My daughter, Krista. My poor child.
a few days later at the celebratory banquet. We didn't have time to receive any responses to our invitation since we tried to keep the date of the banquet as far apart from Henry's birthday as possible. I didn't know who would be who would be attending until the banquet began. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Oh, Princess Cersei of the Southern Empire. Look at her golden skin, like so beautiful. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Oh, Ergi Cloud, nephew of the I can't say that word. Bol Blue Vohan King. Blue F Blue Vohan King. If I said it wrong, please help me out, because that is one tough word. It feels odd to see you in the Western Empire like this. Mm, menacing. <laughs> How have you been? Marquis Falhan, high-ranking noble of the Eastern Empire and close acquaintance of the Trovi family. <laughs> I've been well, thanks to His Majesty. What about you? <laughs> I was lonely after the Empress who looked out for me left. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Don't try to cozy up to my sister. What? I can't even make a joke. You're too unreasonable. Hmm? I didn't think she'd come. Empress Rashta from the Eastern Empire. The drama! Wow, her outfit is very nice, actually. This is very Empress-like. What did she bring? Did she bring the same thing? So, you're with child. <laughs> Congratulations, Empress Navier. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one, guys. <laughs> Congratulations, Empress Navier. I thought she came with the Grand Duke Ryland Roth. Why did they enter the room separately? Not that it matters. Thank you. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I wonder what she'll say next. She'll probably hand me a gift. This is my gift to you. Oh, she regifted it back. That looks familiar. That's the or ornamental blade I gave Rashta with wishes that her child will be just like it. Things have a way of coming back to their owner, don't they? Thank you for returning it to me. Truthfully, I didn't want to give you any of my items. She seems so smug. All right. So, so. Seeing her again has deepened my hatred of her. But don't you think there's something different about her? Yes, her demeanor is colder now. It's quite different from how she used to portray herself as fragile and pitiable. Did she change after facing some mishaps in the Eastern Empire? What did you receive from Emperor Sylvatius, Your Majesty? It appears he finished catching up with my brother. Grand Duke Ryland Roth delivered a carriage to me on his behalf. A racing one that is capable of going fast. What? She's walking in Henry's direction. Pardon? Oh, I don't mean that one. There's another gift? Yes. Hmm. I think Ever... Evely? That girl has your other gift. Huh? Evely should be at the Academy of Magic. What she's doing running an errand for Sylvatiu. Why have things been so quiet on your end, Your Majesty? I feel like I'm doing all the work. What are you talking about, Ergi? It's not like you're the one getting your hands dirty. I still do more than your majesty. But pray tell, what is amiss? The circumstances have changed. <laughs> it's because of Empress Navier. <laughs> Just 
She looks so different. Like, she looks so mature here. Like, maybe a little older. When it comes down to it. That's still where, where she was born and raised. And if I looked at it realistically, it would be difficult to defeat the Eastern Empire in a war. We can take away their mana, but it won't get rid of powerful mages. Yes, and it was never your goal to conquer them via war in the first place. That's the problem. If the Eastern Empire doesn't fall, history will remember Navier as having started the war to get revenge against the Empire that cast her away. I don't want people to think that of her. Is that so? Do as you wish. It won't affect what I, I'm owed. You're going to continue with the plan? Ah, uh, why wouldn't I? <laughs> I will soon harvest the fruits of my efforts. I can't tell if he's still helping out Henry or is or if he's playing a whole different chess game. The Remarried Empress, episode 171. After the official banquet, <laughs> I gave the orders to search for Evelie a while ago, but I haven't heard anything back. What happened to her? The person I want to see hasn't come. Well, the person I don't want to see is still here. <laughs> Had things been a little different? It could have been me sitting next to the Emperor Henry. Then me and Empress Navier's positions would be switched. Huh? Uh. <laughs> what an odd thing to say. That would never have happened. Oh my, you always tease me more than anyone else. But it's true. Don't you remember those letters, Your Majesty? She really brought that up? If it gets out that I was exchanging letters with Henry before my divorce, our adversaries will use that to argue that I must have been unfaithful first. It won't do much damage since we don't have as many ad adversaries now. But Henry wouldn't want that blot on our records. But she's not wrong, is she? His Majesty only has eyes for Empress Navier now. But he used to be taken with Empress Rashta. <laughs> That's... Empress Rashta, you are always so interested in my husband. Or perhaps the person you're interested in is me. Huh? Oh, that, that did a 180. <laughs> few days later, after Rashta and most of the remaining guests left, I was able to meet with Evely, who had been rescued from the scene of the accident. Evely! <gasps> oh. your, your Majesty! Oh. You've grown a lot in the past months. I can hardly recognize you. I, I'm sorry I was late. Uh, it is an honor to see you again, Your Majesty. There's no need to stand on ceremony. Go in and rest. I heard you found Evely and her traveling party in the Moon Forest. This way. That's right, Your Majesty. She was with an it, with an envoy, envoy from the Eastern Empire, a coachman and a few knights. Moon Forest is at one is at one end of a fort of road on the path from the Eastern Empire to the, to the Western Empire. As such, it's easy to make a wrong turn. It is a dense forest with complex terrain, terrain, which is why it took the search party a long time to find them. They were stranded at the scene. Because their carriage was broken, they had a lot of luggage and it was difficult to find the way out. Thank you for finding them. I noticed something odd. Take a look at the carriage. Mm -hmm. One side of it is completely destroyed. That would normally point to at least one injured person. But everyone was fine. As if it was by magic. Uh, magic? 
I did sense a strange aura when I saw Evelyn a moment ago. Could she have her mana back? Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire. Oh no. What? A noble is giving you updates about the palace. Are you sure that's all right? What if they betray you? I don't trust this person. We just hate the same person. That's all. So, Empress Rasha is said to be returning soon. How should I keep doing? Clicking the wrong button here. I'll better get ready to meet her. Whew, she has a lot of enemies. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back to continue reading more. So, yeah. I'm going to try to read and feed my baby at the same time, okay? But let's see how this will work. So you're convinced it was someone from the group? Sophishu would never send a delegation without checking the carriage's condition. Perhaps it slipped his mind. He might have been a terrible husband, but he's a thorough ruler. Not only would he have inspected the carriage, he would have ensured it had a few spare wheels. Not only that, while it appears to look like an accident at first glance, it's too neat. Someone must have, have artfully orchestrated this so that they couldn't even change the wheels. It's likely the person who was sitting furthest away from the damaged side. Hmm. Henry. Mm. Why do you look so gloomy? I don't like it when you speak favorably of him, no matter how light the praise. Did it sound like a compliment? It was only an observation. <laughs> Henry, behaving like this in public makes you look undignified. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the guards. Mm. He's not really upset. It's clear he's playing it up to look endearing. But it tugs at my heartstrings. You're always adorable when you're like this, Henry. Huh? Has anyone else found your antics as charming as I do? Uh, uh. Oh, no one. You know that. I'm trying to see if he finishes milk. I don't. Oh, you know about my past, but I don't know yours. You have a lot of history, after all. Oh my gosh, like the rock's like slamming on his head. Wham, wham. Oh. Interpretation? Your past as a womanizer might be why you're adept at using your charm to get the reaction you, you desire. Oh, that's my queen. I... Hmm. I'm going to go see Evelyn. My queen. <laughs> Her face. He really is adorable. Navier is getting better and better at teasing Henry. As she should. Keep him on his toes. The Remarried Empress, episode 172. Laura's Room. Evely? Oh! Your Majesty! Title of work, Social Butterfly. I gotta burp him after this. What happened in the small amount of time I was gone? <laughs> I'll bring out some refreshments. All right. Laura doesn't have any friends her age here. She seems delighted that she met someone who's like a younger sister for once. Okay, Papa. You're done. You're done. Hold on, guys. All right. Um... I understand it was your majesty who sent the knights to our rescue, 
thank you. It seems I'm forever receiving your help. Uh, don't worry about it. Why don't we have this conversation sitting down? Oh, but I was told that was rude. It's all right. Laura's special green grape aid? Add? Gra grape aid? Like lemonade? What happened? Um, well, there was a gift His Majesty wanted me to send. Or rather, he wanted me to deliver it to you. I was charged with delivering with personal gift. But one side of our carriage collapsed on the trail. The carriage was also transporting official gifts from His Majesty. We decided we should at least take those and look for a way out before it was too late. Uh, the knights found us first. How convenient. Okay. I'm relieved everything worked out. If Emily recovered her mana, did you heal the people with injuries? Oh, oh. I'm just asking to be sure since there weren't any injuries even though the carriage was badly damaged. Well, does she not want to talk about it? I shouldn't push her for answers. What was the personal gift the Eastern Empire's emperor wanted to give me? Uh, oh! Um, the box became a little damaged when the carriage broke. I don't know what's inside either. That's alright. You should rest. We can continue this conversation later. There's no rush. So they should wanted this wanted this item to be delivered secretly by the child who I used to sponsor. Do I have to check? Do you? What it is? Click. Isn't this the fairy's tear? <gasps> Legend says that this gem was created by the grieving fairy after she lost her mate. So she could fall into inter eternal slumber. A few years ago, I was annoyed that Savetia gifted himself my favorite horse for his birthday. So I told him to give me this gem for my birthday. He initially agreed. But then he went back on his word and said he'll give it to me when we, when we had our first child. Now he keeps his promise? After telling me not to worry about him and live a happy life? I get why he made Evelyn deliver this personally. He knows she will be in an uncomfortable situation if I send it back. Your Majesty, Grand Duke Kaufman is here to see you. Your Majesty. Are you close with Miss Evelyn from the Eastern Empire? Why is he talking about Evelyn? I want to get to know you better too, my beautiful Ice Empress, who I dare not get a close to. Well, I apologize. I came here because Miss Evelyn is thinking strange thoughts. She, she suspects that the Western Empire has harmed the mages of the Eastern Empire. It appears she has a reasonable cause for suspicion. A reasonable cause. However, she lost the key piece of evidence. Don't, huh? So this issue won't become public knowledge. What I tried to ignore. Send a crow to find out what's happening. If we're at risk of being caught because of that necklace, retrieve it by any means necessary. Necklace? What necklace? Oh. Are you done? You may put your hat here. There you go. Sorry, guys. There. <laughs> if it's too difficult to bring it back, 
destroy it, has come to this. Should I have not told you about it? No, that's not it. Thank you for telling me. Should I ask Henry about this bluntly? Even though I have no doubt that he'll say he wanted to harm my home empire. My queen, are you inside? <sighs> Come in. Uh, what's this box? There are two things I want to say to you. Are you debating whether to tell me or not? I'm debating which of the two things I should tell you first. Because I must tell him both things. You're scaring me. Might as well deal with the serious issue first and get it over with. Are you the one who's responsible for the decline in mages? Uh, his face is shocked. Oh, ho, ho. what is he going to say? Is he going to tell her the truth? Or is he going to pout his way out and try to be all cutesy? Because I don't know. I don't think that'll work. Are you the one who's responsible for the decline in mages? <gasps> the long silence. Navier. So that's what he looks like. What he's not hiding behind a smile. Oh, she is aching. It's shocking to see someone who's always kind and at ease be hesitant and incapable of saying anything in defense. Henry. Henry? Henry. Trembling. Navier, my queen, I. I'm not pointing fingers. I just want to hear the honest truth from you. Not anymore, my queen. It's true that I took measures against the mages to keep the Eastern Empire in check. Mages are the foundation of their strength, after all. But that's no longer the case. I married you. I have no intention of declaring war on the Eastern Empire, because not what you would want, I promise. Evely did lose her mana as a consequence of my plot, but I restored her mana. After seeing you heartbroken over her. I just wanted to ask if he knew anything, but he spilled everything out of fear before I could even finish my question. If I consider the timeline in which the decline in mages was first discovered, it appears he was preparing for a long time. It's natural for emperors to scheme for the good of their empire and keep rival nations in check. I know this is in my head, but... I worried that I'll end up resenting him. If he harmed my homeland, my family, and my friends, even after marrying me, he'll... Thank you for thinking of me. My queen, you're not angry? Hmm? Sorry, make sure he's okay. We went to the doctor and he had a massive, uh, massive poop explosion. You told me you gave up on your plan to start a war out of consideration for me. Are you not disappointed in me? Uh, I'm not. Because I already knew that you're coy. He loves me so much. That even he, that... He even gave up on such a big plan. Maybe it'd be a good idea to trust someone like this a little more. 
Sawatia sent me a very valuable gift. It was personal, not official. A personal gift. Is that it? I don't feel comfortable receiving something. Oh, I don't feel comfortable receiving something like that, and I want to return it to him. But other people might get the wrong idea if I send it back in my name. Could you do it for me? Uh-oh. You planned this discussion carefully, didn't you? Are you disappointed in me? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I feel his sincerity, which is why I let my eyes meet his. My lips meet his. And my mind become one with his. I am squealing inside. And I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> the Remarried Empress, episode 173. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, click, 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 click. it was a pretty good trip. I got treated like the Empress I am for once. <laughs> click, 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 click. Something embarrassing did happen at the end of the trip, but I just wanted to know how things were now. I wasn't actually trying to start anything with Emperor Henry. I thought that I have to plant a root here in order to keep at this position. Clip, clip. But maybe I could live abroad while getting treated well. If His Majesty refuses to let me see the baby. I do hate the idea of His Majesty seeing other women freely. But whatever happens, clip, clip, I'll have to spend my days being looked down on again. Why is he standing there? Uh, why does he look so angry? No. He can't be here to beg that I get his son world treatment, right? <gasps> uh. Click, click. Rashta. Let's talk inside. Huh? <gasps> oh, that's an eagle. Oh. Oh, oh, no. <sighs> the rumor that by Council Latatius' grandson looks exactly like Princess Glorium spread like wildfall, wild, hold on guys, like wildfire. The Empress quickly tried to explain herself, but the Viscount's eldest son refused to say a word. This added fuel to the rumor. People keep visiting our house to see Ian. Help me, Rashta. I should have killed him. I should have torn him to shreds, not Labetti. <gasps> oh, I thought you were stuck in quicksand, Rashta. That's why I wanted to save you, but I was wrong. You pulled me down with you. You're the quicksand. Not me. It's you. <laughs> it appears Count Vernier suggested that the paternity test be done to put an end to the recent con controversy. Contro I can't say that word ever. Recent controversy. Controversy. Good idea. We can also see who her real parents are while we're at it. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. Are you stretching? Are you stretching? Hold on, let me see if I can put you up here. Yeah, your hair is all over the place right now. All over the place. Okay, the temple, the temple parental lineage test is also called the lineage 
test or the parentage test for short. It's a test administered by the temple to confirm an individual. Sorry, guys. You don't like being up? You just <laughs> you just want to lay down? Okay, I'll let you lay down. You want to be in your little bassinet? Oh, you have the dog's hair all over you. Okay, he wants to be like this. Is a test administered by the temple to confirm a individual's parentage for cases such as finding lost family. The individuals being tested spill their blood into a chalice and the resulting reaction confirms or denies their relation. It's considered dishonorable for nobles to take the test and it lost some credibility after the test showed that two twin brothers were both the father of a baby 35 years ago. But in a situation like this, where the future of the imperial family is at stake, it's the most effective method of diffusing contra controversy. There are a number of poor nobles who can pretend to be your parent, but promise me that you won't agree to a paternity test, because then the truth will be revealed. What do I do? If it was only a matter of testing the baby and me, I'll say yes to put an end to the contr controversy. Mm -mm. Good idea. We can also see who her real parents are while we're at it. But that devil of a man, Marquis Fallon, had to bring my adoptive parents into it? Uh, if I admit to my real who my real father is and take responsibility for lying about my background, Glorium will also be shunned her whole life. <laughs> Why does his majesty... Yeah. Although I wanted to know, I was held back by the possibility that it'll end in humiliation for the imperial family. And the fear that Glorium isn't really mine. Alan Rimwell. That fool of a noble. Forced my hand. I don't know whether I should thank him or for opening the floodgates or charge him with the crime of causing conflict. I feel conflicted. The Remarried Empress, episode 174. Your, your majesty. Um, he, he told me to deliver this. I thought he'd at least have the decency to lie low. Huh. Since his daughter is in a bind. She's crying. Establishing a merchant group requires more money than I expected. For example, I need a lot of money to wine and dine people. This week in particular. I did hear that things are difficult for you right now, but... It's not like he's completely ignorant of my situation. He didn't even ask me how I'm, I'm firing. Or give me an apology. He didn't even include any pleasantries. Just a demand for more money. <laughs> I'm the fool for expecting anything different. <laughs> Tigers don't change their stripes. <sighs> she is losing it. I shouldn't be treated like this. It's not fair. That woman is living a happy life because she was born to caring noble parents. I was a slave after being born to scum and now I have to suffer this indignity. I stole her position as empress and stole her husband. Yes, I stole them. Is that why I'm being punished? That can't be. I was already unlucky when I was born. I was given a different starting line. 
I thought you were stuck in quickstand, Rashta. But you pulled me down with you. I had nothing. Are you cold? And now you dare to raise your hand against me, you ill-bred hussy. I suppose that's all you amount to. So I just swung my hand more widely than others so I could grab whatever I could. I just wanted to be happy, even if it was just a tiny bit of happiness. Oh. So I can live a decent life. <laughs> the thing is, like, she just wanted, she said she wants, like, a small amount of happiness. But the thing is, she got super greedy. And because of that greed, it really caused her to spiral downward. So she, re she really, she really messed up. If she just, like, be simple and just, like, do what the emperor wants and just, like, be in her lane and not just keep on wanting more and more and more she would have been fine but she just she kept on doing evil things you wanted something that belonged to me but i don't want anything of yours i'm not desperate enough to steal from others i just wanted to love and to be loved fully it's my painting don't look at it it irritates me when you do. To not be held in contempt just because I happened to be born into circumstances that made me a slave. I can't do that. Am I suffering from misfortune because I didn't know my place? Should I have bowed and scra scraped along as a slave? In the vain hope that my father would come rescue me when I didn't even know where he was. Should have just died after living such a miserable life. <laughs> you don't belong here. You don't belong to the ruling class. I just noticed that her fingers are bleeding. <laughs> I don't belong on your finger. He's not someone who would listen to my request. Even he leaves me alone this time, it will be temporary. He'll try to drag me down with him my whole life. I didn't dare think about getting rid of him because he's my father, as awful as he is. But not anymore. I need to do away with him completely. What is she suggesting? Is she su is she trying to like completely get rid of him? Like, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, she is evil. <laughs> Who's giggling? Okay. <laughs> He's so good to me. I might become this Empress stepmother soon. Oh, <gasps> your majesty. Can you tell him to come visit me? Pardon? You know that. Things aren't looking good for me right now. Uh oh. This might be my last gift to him. So I want to give it to him in person. I want to be more generous than usual since it's the last time. But I don't want to make things difficult for him by having other people find out. Tell him to use a back road in the west. I'll be able to strike back it, strike it rich thanks to the kid I raised. <laughs> he looks like he's three sheets to the wind. <laughs> that works out well for me. I can make it look like a drunk had died from an accident. I'll pretend to offer him jewelry and not kill him in one strike. <gasps> oh, 
why is he with an Imperial Guard? Can His Majesty have ordered it? I see. During the public ball. When there was controversy over me and the former Empress wearing similar clothes. You look even more beautiful than I could have imagined, Empress. And thank you for honoring my request. His Majesty took that woman's side to the Imperial family wouldn't lose face, even though he didn't know who copied who. It's just like that time. Boom. This time, he's helping me. But boom. Because I'm his Empress now. But boom. He has to. But boom. Preserve the Empress reputation during time of crisis. His Majesty took care of my father, so all I have to do is send by Count Ishka and his wife far away. We've been worried about the recent rumors, too. Don't worry. We won't do anything that will jeopardize you. Thank you. I'll invite you back when things settle down. It might look suspicious if we leave all of a sudden. Can we wait until the timing is better? Sure. I know it's not much, but please use this to find my sister. I gave them plenty of money, so I doubt they'll blab about things. I hope they leave before they find out Evelie is their real daughter. It's a good thing she asked us to leave first. I didn't know how we were going to tell her, after Marquise Carl talked to us. You may stay in the palace if you take a parentage test with Her Majesty. But you must leave if you can't. Ooh, man. All right, this is going to be the last one. And then I have to take care of my baba. And I'll edit this and post it. Sobatius' office. Have you dealt with him? Yes, I carried out your orders. Nobody knows where he is. Until the result of the parentage tests are out. Understood, your majesty. Had circumstances allowed, I've ha I have waited until the public lost interest, so I could resolve the matter discreetly. If he reveals Rash's past to the world, then the stigma of being the child of a slave will follow Glorium for the rest of her days. If I want to prevent that from happening, I have to make sure that Rashta, Glorium, and Die the only people who undergo testing. I can't let anything harm Glorium's legit, legit. I can't say it. Glorium's legitimacy. Legitimacy. I know you guys always try to help me on that word. I tried. I will always forget on how to say it correctly. I removed as many tr threats as I could. We just need to take the test now. I wish Rashta would cooperate. Your Majesty? The Remarried Empress, episode 175. If His Majesty confirms that he was the one who got rid of my father, and he feels a little apologetic towards me, I should express my gratitude. I'll thank him for saving me from harming my own father. I'll tell him that though we may have been distant lately, his Majesty has always been the one rescuing me from every crisis. I'll also bring up our child. I'll tell him Glorium is undoubtedly his biological daughter. So there's no need to worry. Oh! What happened? The bird is freaking out again. Oh, because she's in there. They're there. Good bird. You said you have something to tell me. No. No, no, no. He put up a painting of him looking cozy with the former empress. On the wall facing the bed? That's kind of weird. Yeah, that I would be jealous too. Not only that, it's next to the portrait of our daughter. <gasps> Rashta. Do you love me? Why are you suddenly asking me that? Answer me. It's important. 
I don't have time to humor you. Was that all you wanted to say? Was that all you wanted to say? <laughs> what if it had been someone else stuck in that trap? Would you still have saved that person? Would you have made that person your mistress? <laughs> Even if it wasn't me? He looks so cold. <laughs> Even though things haven't been the same between us, I still believe there was a silver sliver of hope because we had a child together. But I was wrong. His Majesty doesn't think of me as family. When did he stop? Was it when he started to become jealous over the former Empress Ramiri? No, it was before that. I want to come along. It's a family party. And I'm also part of the family. I'm sorry. He didn't think of me as family even back then. The person I loved never existed. I came to tell you I'll take the paternity test. Once it became known that the Empress Rashta agreed to take the parentage test, it started to assuage the doubts that had to spread like wildfire. I guess the princess really is the Emperor's leg legitimate daughter, seeing as the Empress is acting so confident. I still don't like how she hid her first child, but those who questioned the Emperor family's legitimacy should be ashamed of themselves. I'm glad we don't have to leave hastily before the test. There will be a banquet celebrating Empress Henry's birthday before the day of the test. We should we can join the line and slip away quietly. This time was valuable and useful for Rashta as well. I thought you'd be avoiding me for a while. Um, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Just tell me what you need and I'll do it. This visit might get people talking again, but there's no one else I could ask. I need you kidnap Anne. I mean, Alan's son. Huh? You mean your first child? He he's not mine! My child died, but that ghost has come back to haunt me and my daughter. Our lives will be ruined at this rate! What do you need me to do? Do you want me to kill him? N no, no. I don't want you to kill him. Put him in the care of a family that needs a child. Somewhere far from the Eastern Empire. That's a rather difficult request. Uh, I'll pay whatever you wish. You didn't even give me the port you promised when I agreed to be your lover. Now, I'm going to be demanding about it. I've always helped you out because we're friends, but it does disappoint me. I'll give it to you, I swear. It's yours as soon as I deal with my cri th this crisis and my circumstances improve. <laughs> then, can you draft a document promising me that you'll give me a the port? Uh. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, that was a lot going on over there. That's... It's crazy. I gave the fairy's tear to Henry so he could deal with it. And I'm no longer worried that he'll declare a war against my homeland. Now I just need to decide what to give him for his birthday. I I've never been in a romantic relationship, but I did give a friend a cake that pops up when they you press a button. I told you to hire a good chef and pretend you made the food. What is a good present to give to your husband and for his first birthday since getting married? A sword or a spear, of course. I heard poison also a popular gift to give these days. Hmm, maybe clothes, a hat, or shoes. There's nothing as valuable as time spent together.
Bathing together, that's similar to what Henry's wanted. <laughs> I've gifted racy underwear to my lover before. Not only do I get a good view when they wear it, but it also makes me want to make them feel good in return. Can't believe I just read that. I think I know who she's talking about. Viscount Landre. I love the birthday cake that your mother bakes for me every year. I never get sick of it. That's just so... It's making me cry. A present for Emperor Henry? Hmm. His Majesty has a happy dance he does when he's in a really good mood. I'll bet he'd be delighted if you dance it with him. He did say that his ideal woman is the one who can do that dance perfectly. He said that when he was six. His happy dance. Could he be talking about... Oh, oh little cute little dance. It's so adorable. He wants me to dance like that? Alright guys. So, I know there's another episode that just came out and I will upload that, I will read that and upload that a little bit later, but oh, I'm so tired now. I read so many of these episodes in one sitting. Okay guys, uh, I'm sorry I had to take care of my baby as I read. At least he wasn't so fussy and he just slept majority of the time, but wow. One. Like we had to talk about Rashta. I cannot believe she was literally planning on just like unaliving her own father. Like, wow, she is messed up. And I'm kind of glad that she did not tell, I forgot his name, uh, to, uh, you know, unalive her, her son. Because that's what I thought. I'm like, are you telling him to go and get rid of your son? But luckily, she just wants him to be, you know, raised away from, you know, Viscount Lotatiu and her, and her former lover, Alan. But Rashta is, she keeps digging herself deeper and deeper into her grave. But, yeah, I mean, but she, she's still, you know, till now, she still doesn't, like, admit to what she's doing wrong like she's still pointing fingers she's like oh you know it's because of my father and i was born as a slave and over here like just being so envious and jealous of Navier over and over again they say oh she has this beautiful life because she was born into like a nice family and blah 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 like she's always finding excuses but she's have yet to like look within and evaluate and fix herself and of course, like, she lost everything now at this rate. And she's trying to, like, crawl back to Savishu, trying to see if there's, like, a hope, like, a little glimpse of love where she can just retreat and, like, work, you know, you know to regain back on. But nope, Savishu no longer loves her. He's just had that ice cold stare. But anyways, um, kind of glad that Navier and Henry are on great terms. They're talking things out. They're honest with each other. Uh, very transparent, of course. So I'm very excited to see that progress. Because now Navier admits she's now opening up way more for Henry. And that's, that's wonderful. Like, that's how you guys maintain a or grow a healthy relationship. And I'm excited. Ah, so many moving parts. But, alright guys, if you guys enjoy the way I read this, if you guys enjoy my special guest, you know, appearance here. He's very, you know, very sleepy. He's a newborn. But, if you guys enjoy the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all felt when y'all read each of these episodes. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm sorry for Miss pronouncing some of the words and not reading so well but yeah all right guys bye